Genic, ingenious supplies. What's up, Spikes? Welcome on back to the uh, Spike Feeders World Headquarters, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, LLC. Jim's basement. Uh, I'm Elliot, and today we're playing some murders at Karlov Manor uh, casual decks, uh, constructed by yours truly. I take no blame again. Mm, no, I would be yours truly. Mm -hmm. He's ours Who's truly. He? His truly. His, him. <laughs> he did it. Um, I'm playing the Pride of Hull Clade. Uh, it's a big booty crocodile elk turtle. Detective. Uh, no. Oh, no. The only <laughs> uh, one detective. The only one that's not a detective. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to put things with big butts into play and then hopefully draw a bunch of cards to put more things with big butts into play, find things that let me attack with those things and do damage equal to their butts instead of the attack because I don't have a lot of that. And uh, kill everybody. Seems great. Yeah. Seems okay. That seems like the theme. Of you built it, so if it's not okay, I think yeah, you're gonna hear about it. Hey, I'm Aaron. I'm playing Delny Streetwise Lookout. It's uh, also surprisingly Carl Up Manor, but it's a uh, three mana two two that will double all the triggers of my creatures of power two or less. Hmm. So it's coming into play. Something else comes into play. A variety of things happen. I just want to do uh, more of it, but because they're all really small, I need a lot of them to kind of build up to something. So, uh, there's a lot of bigger, scarier creatures going on, but I'm going to try to, you know, try to sneak in there. <laughs> Get under the radar. It also, oh, it also makes my creatures of power to less not blockable. That part's Ooh. relevant. Yeah, I'm going to need that part. Oh, that could be in this deck. Some might even be. say unblockable. No. Oh, it says not blockable, specifically. Does it say not blockable? Uh, what are you playing, Jan? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jan. I'm playing Malik, Reforged Researcher. Uh, who is being called out this time around by wizards because he's a weird detective. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a little strange. It's a little strange. <laughs> Look at all those weird thumbs. Anyway, uh, it's all about spells. Spells, spells, spells. So Malik's power and toughness are equal to twice the number of uh, instants and sorceries in my graveyard. Uh, and he discounts the first spell you play uh, each turn. So mm -hmm. on everybody's turn, including my own. So the whole goal is to put as many spells into my graveyard as possible. Whether I cast them or mill them or just knock over my deck and put them there. Haha, <laughs> oops. Oops. Malik's gonna be weird about it. That ah, seems pretty great. Hi, everybody. My name's Alex, and today I'm playing Anne's Rag, the Quake Mole. It's a gruel deck, and it's all about getting Anne's Rag onto the battlefield and hopefully blocked so I can attack again using my even bigger, even larger, even more combat tricked up <laughs> creatures. And hopefully that'll be enough to kill all my friends. But before we get to killing my friends, I gotta shout out Game Genic. They're the sponsors of this whole channel, and they provided us these wonderful bastions, these fantastic playmats, and you can find all of those products over at your local game store. So, I think that's it, that's all. Mm -hmm. Let's crack into our bastion. Uh, somehow I won the die roll. I'm going to draw a card for my first turn, which is the first turn of the game. I'm going to play a basic forest, and I'm going to pass the turn. I have a basic plains and a pass. Ooh, I'm going to draw this card. I don't want to play a basic. I'm going to play a scalding tarn. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I'm going to crack it and go to 39. Mm -hmm. I'll get this Thundering Falls, and I'll surveil one. I'm going to put it in my graveyard. Mm -hmm. Banger. Instant of sorcery number one in the graveyard. You got Cosmic, it. Cosmic Epiphany. Does it have um, no, it doesn't. Jumpstart or anything? No. It's actually really bad. It's or... really bad. With nothing we're in your river. Yeah. Hogging all the way off. Uh, forest. Mm -hmm. Same. Bop. Mm. Oh, there you go. Seems good. Barbaran. <clears throat> bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, Barbaran. I'll draw for my turn. That's going to be a nice one in a in a turn or two. <laughs> uh, I've got a forest. A second forest, I suppose. And a three visits, which is going to get me an additional forest. But this one doesn't have to even be basic, even. I'm going to visit this hedge maze uh, three times, right? That's how it works. Surveil mm -hmm. three. Copy and me. <laughs> uh, I'll surveil one. They draw my mono white uh, surveil land. Oh. I'll be a new card. I want that, I think. I will leave that on top. All right. Go ahead. Draw one. Play a land. And I'm going to pay two for a new Curl of Mana card. Some of the players. It's an enchantment. I may look at the top card of my library at any time. Once each turn, I may cast a creature card, a creature spell with power two or less from the top of my library. That's oh my good. god. Oh, yeah. That seems really I can't believe that. It costs two mana. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to pass. It's a theme. Yeah, I'm going to untap. Wasn't a memory. Draws card. Ah, uh, fun. It's I'm island. 
Yes, I will tap a blue and cast Ponder. Ooh, mm -hmm. What you thinking about? Thinking about those three cards. These three cards. <laughs> so I decided to shuffle, and I'm going to draw a card. A mysterious card. It is a mysterious card. I will pass the turn. Sounds good. Oh, it's the one of these. Oh, Yay. catch up, buddy. Oh, way. Oh. oh. So I played my card on better card. <laughs> put that back on I top. To, I want to play two. You're gonna put that back on top, and we're gonna pay red and green for Hajar, loyal bodyguard. Ooh. I can sacrifice him to give legendary creatures I control plus one, plus one, indestructible, ten other turn. And he's also just a three three. Pass the turn. Two and a three three, huh? Must be nice. It is nice. Untap, upkeep. Okay. Uh, I've got a Dream Root Cascade right on time, and ETB's tapped unless I control two or more other lands, which I do. Sweet. Uh, and then I've got don't, just don't, an, don't an absolute banger. Don't do it. Tree of Redemption. You'd love to see it. So this is currently an 013 with Defender that says tap exchange my life total with Tree of Redemption's toughness. Oh, Elliot. Elliot. Well, I ain't tapping it yet. Also, it's Tree of Redemption, though. I could, I guess. I could make it an 040. Crazy. Okay, um, as a side note, I'm really excited in like the two Karlov Matter. So I we did the upgrades for Karlov Matter. Mm -hmm. And in that deck, in the, the Merkle deck, I put in Tree of Perdition. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's like, <laughs> Tree of Redemption. I'm Dang. really excited to play both. <laughs> yeah. um, Pass the turn. <laughs> I'm going to play my, my Nykthos and my, my Knot uh, 013. The only Streetwise Lookout. Who, after reading during a cut, it in fact can be blocked by only with power creatures uh, two or less. It's so like the tree of prediction. Yeah, like the reason. you you did it wrong again. Did I? <laughs> Your creatures yeah. with power two or yeah. less can't be blocked by creatures three or greater. Three, three or, three or, or greater. whatever Elliot said. This, this that cut, one. This, I feel cut that into the beginning. Well, you will put the rule up on the screen, <laughs> like probably perfect. three times at this point. Uh, look at the top part of my library. Pass the turn. Uh, let's play a Shivan Reef. Nice. Oh, I got all my colors online uh, and pass. Oh, it's really nice to have a perfect mana base, it sounds like. Okay, okay. All right, so we're about to see the reason why it popped off so hard. Oh, no, don't pop off. 8-4 doesn't attack into a 0-13 well. Yeah, I know, yeah. but okay. this is a Sol Ring. Uh -huh. Yeah, that comes good. And this is a Sol Ring. It's Dolmen Gate, yeah! Oh, yeah, there he goes, okay. Oh, I love Dolmen Gate. Yeah, I Literally. remember when I put this deck together, I was like, oh, I'll explode by this one. God, I love <laughs> Dolmen Gate. Uh, I'll pass. Do you, nice. Yeah. Do you have any idea? Okay. What does this do when it comes in a play? Uh, so it's a green yep. mana. Yep. For a two fifteen. Yep. Defender. Yep. Two blue blue until end of turn. Target creature I control gets plus one plus zero. Oh, gains whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player. Draw cards equal to its toughness. Okay. And can attack as though it didn't have defender. Mm. That's all though. That's all that it does. <laughs> I'm gonna draw for my turn. You got yep. It. Um, the worst part is even if like, I were to kill it, it still costs one green. Yeah. Right on time, I'm going to play this Reliquary Tower. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I would like to attempt to pay a singular green mana for my The Pride of Hull Clade. Yep. I only I don't know why I didn't connect till just now that you can attack with this Tree of Redemption. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know why I missed that. Reading it. Yeah, yeah, buddy. That's cool. Uh, yeah. No effects. All I'm right. blocking. <laughs> uh, I would like to pay. Uh, two blue blue target uh, creature. Uh, so it will be a 113, and I'd like to go to combat. Alex, are you blocking? What? You're the only one hmm? with no creatures, unfortunately. So I'd like to attack Sorry. you for one. What? Attack <laughs> you. Just open your eyes, look does at it, me. Does it, it, it doesn't deal it damage equal to its toughness. Though. It's got Defender, though. Yes. Uh, can attack as oh. though it didn't. He's switching his life total with it. Does it fly? No. No. Okay, so Elliot's at 13. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, I oh. guess I have to do stuff now. You, you could. Know, what? You're just taking good. one, that's all. No. Just one damage. I think he's taking zero. I feel like I don't want you to draw 13 cards. <laughs> Only 13. <laughs> I'm going to cast a Cult Epiphany, uh, okay. X equals Ooh, two. that's a jump block. So I'm going to draw two cards, uh -huh. and then discard two cards, and make X 1-1, one, one, uh, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token for each card type discarded this way. I'm going to discard a mountain and a beacon bolt. Uh, That's make two, two one two. ones. And yeah. I'm going to throw one of them in front of your Yeah, abso tree. absolutely. Doesn't yeah. also get trampled? What the heck? Yeah. Yeah. Trample yeah, for zero? One, one. <laughs> uh, go ahead. And they fly. All right, I'll tap. Well, one of them flies. The other one's pretty Draw. dead. Draw. Very dead. It got owned by this tree. 
I want to play land, and I want to play Core Cartographer. Real medium guy here, but when it enters the battlefield, search melody for planes put on the battlefield tapped, which will trigger twice. I think it's called mid range, actually. I would like to do this two time, please. Sounds good. You may do it two time. Two time. So yeah, find planes, planes, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna take another peep. Ooh, that's a nice one. I don't feel like I'm doing well. Well, yeah, you well, you blocked. I did. I <laughs> will uh, then uh, pass the turn. Oh, <gasps> it's my turn. Another chance for me to do well. Draw this card. Whoop! I believe in you. I don't. Uh, Training center. You're hitting your land drops. Yeah, yeah you got yeah. you got lands. That's for true. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, pass. <laughs> okay. okay, tough. Tough one. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Um, I'm gonna move these over here so they're less gobbled up. Sure. Gobbled. One, two, three, four. For Anzag, the Quake Mole. You got a Quake Mole. Uh, an eight four. Uh, I have a two fifteen, so I th I'm chilling. I have a two two and a two two. <laughs> I have a tutu. I have a rock. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have a one one. Why? I don't even have a rock. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna send Hajar. Don't at... touch me. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even know for sure. You know, he might not be. At Aaron. Okay. I'm taking three. Okay. Thirty-seven. Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't want to throw this gotta... core cartographer I mean, under the bus. Oh, Nick Toes. And we'll pass. All right. I will untap. Uh, so I've I've come to a realization, and that is, uh, I don't know how I actually deal damage. <laughs> yeah, you have to find ways to get through. That's yeah, they gotta they gotta actually hit yeah. is the problem here. Mm -hmm. Got a basic forest. Nice. Uh, I've got one and a green for assault formation. Oh, we talked about shit. that. <laughs> you did. Uh, each creature I control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Uh, I have to pay a green to give target creature with defender. Uh, Not defender. Yeah, can attack this turn as though it didn't, yeah. and I can also do two and a green uh, to butt pump. Yes, but yeah, and you only but, get butt breathing. Sorry, it's plus zero, plus yeah, one. Yeah, there you go. You only get the uh, the cards off of Pride of Hulklave when you activate it. Yes. yes. Yeah, I do have to activate that. So yeah, it'd be pretty busted if it was just. It'd be pretty crazy, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna make somebody make a, a difficult decision. I think the 215 is fine. So I will I will once again use Hulklay to target the tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I will move to combat. Mm -hmm. And I will send the tree at Alex. Okay. It is a a 113 that will deal damage equal to its toughness. Yeah, bird under the bus is what I anticipated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn. Untap. Singing like maybe there's some world. Yeah, th this just is the abyss currently. <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just abyssing people. You're currently, <laughs> yeah, abyssing. And, until I get to draw 15 cards. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh no. Uh oh, you better not read destroy target. Pride Tree. Of yeah. Clade. <laughs> destroy target creature Play with zero land. power. Just something called lumberjack. Destroy target tree. Yo. Oh, it reads oh, destroy it all of my things. Sure does. I'm gonna hit assault formation at Dolmen Gate. Yeah. Oh, that's the correct two. That's correct okay. Yeah. This is my commander. I was thinking you get things when this dies, right? Yep. Yeah. We each get a two, a, a two, two, two. Mm, yeah. And mm. then I have more mono white ram spells and then solo me like Oh, oh heck yeah! Uh, go find more planes, please. Two of them, even again, even. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna find planes, planes, just like the turn before. I am the ramp deck now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I need to play a little safe with these giant guys over here, and mm -hmm. you know, not that I, I'm not worried about Jan too. You know, you're just not worried about Jan too. I'm, I'm, not, worried about, I'm not worried Pass. about Jan either. Okay, oh, yeah, end of your turn. I'm gonna cast Unexpected Windfall. Yep. So an additional cost, discard this mountain, uh, and then I draw two cards and make two treasures. Yeah, no thanks. That's a good card. A force will. Please no. <laughs> I thought this was I, casual. I have so little. It's target player, right? Misdirection. <laughs> <laughs> Is it target player? No, Absolutely it just says not. draw to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, then I want that and draw. Island. That looks already kind of big, right? No. Nope. I think he's got like five or right, but actually even like ten, more. right? Like, yeah, that sounds pretty big. Just cast Malik, and we'll see what happens. How big? What part of this, uh, Judge? <laughs> That's a good question. One, two, three, four, five, ten, 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 ten. ten. <laughs> oh. I'm happy so. everyone has giant creatures, <laughs> and I got I, I got a two two. You built a, the decks. <laughs> and a two two and a two two and a two two. Yeah, but they can't be blocked by the giant creatures. I, I, I forgot about that. <laughs> You're gaming. 
Well, they can be blocked by your giant creatures. That's true. You yeah. can block them well, actually. Uh, that's true. I saw him do it. Um, <laughs> best turn. Okie dokie. We're going to untap, upkeep, and draw. Mine's like really oh. old. <laughs> We're going to play uh, Forest as our land for turn. One green and two other for Garrick's Uprising. Oh. When it enters the battlefield, if I control trample. power four, I get to draw a card. Creatures I control have trample. And whenever a creature with power four or greater enters the battlefield under my control, draw a card. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pay two for Contest of Claws. Target creature I control, Ansrag. Deals damage equal to its power to another target creature, that spirit. <gasps> my spirit. If excess damage was dealt this way, which was seven, discover seven. Whoa. I'm trying to murder ball your spirit and discover seven. I can test the flaws. Uh, yeah, that's a banger ability on a fight spell. I have okay. no effects. <laughs> All right. So we're going to discover until we hit seven. Mm -hmm. Three, Three visits. Three visits. Not bad. We'll go ahead and cast that and go searching for a forest card. Off of three visits, we'll find Cinderglade into play, untapped, because I have two basic lands. Uh, then we're going to move to combat, and I think the only profitable attack I have is Ansrag at Aaron. You don't attack the 10 10? Uh, no. How about the 2 15? No. All right, I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 29. Uh, oh, that uh, eight fast. commander damage. Yeah, I got yep. that. Eight Ansrag. <laughs> yeah, that's relevant. All like, righty. There's a world that could try to double block, but I don't want to trade with the uh, Hajar. Yeah, not only that, but it's got mm. trample anyway. Yeah, so trample blocking it is also bad. In any case, I'm going to pass to Elliot. I think like there's maybe a world where like forcing the Hajar now isn't so bad, but then I guess you get you still take like four trample and then you get attacked again for yeah, gets attacked again. That's the other <laughs> yeah. unfortunate yeah, so downside. Five, yeah, five yeah. over the top or six over the top because it'll be at nine power yeah. and a whole bunch of other stuff. Interesting. What a what a card. <laughs> uh, I'm going to draw for my turn. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got a basic forest. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got a thing that I'm going to keep trying to do, and that is activating the Pride of Hulklate. Uh, this time it'll be targeting itself to make him a 315 and all of the other stuff. And then I'm going to see if Alex wants to trade his little dude. I'm My little dude? Your little dude. I'm going to attack you for three. What? Just three. I thought we were friends, Elliot. Three we are. I thought we were big dummies we could, versus the world. We could wow. do that and be that together. All you have to do is take three damage. Oh, don't do it, Alex. I'm going to block with a jar. I'm so disappointed. In, in fact, I'm so disappointed. I'm going to invigorate all over Hajar. Uh, you can gain three life. Oh, sick. I love invigorate. What? What is happening? Is my dude dying? Aaron, this sucks. Aaron gains uh, three life to go to 32. Is there 32? Four? It's three plus, life. Oh, okay. It's three life, but it yeah. gets plus four plus four. So yeah. it's a seven seven? It just won't seven, die seven. now. Oh, oh I, it I just I, won't die. I, I don't it. hate you enough to ruin your got dreams. Got it, got it, got it. But okay. I, I love invigorate. Uh, no one expects the invigorate. Yeah, no, invigorate was great. <laughs> okay. I looked down and saw that, I'm like, ooh, that's free spell. <laughs> I don't have a third blue source, which makes my play very awkward. Oh. I'll pass the turn. I'm just trying to draw 15 cards, guys. <laughs> Aaron has so much mana. Yeah, that's true. It's my mono white ramp strategy. I'd like to cast a pearl medallion. Ooh, good one. Oh. Make my spells cost a little less, please. Ooh, that's a spell I can cast. Pay two for a mirror entity. This is just a little entity. Mere oh no. Entity. Just gonna oh, try boy. to make my guys real big. Um, activate Nyctos. Yep. Uh huh. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Okay. Six white. I can block six sixes. Uh, I would like to cast Reverend Hoplite. When Reverend Hoplite enters the battlefield, I get a number of human soldiers, tokens equal to my devotion to white uh, twice. Oh. That's pretty great. <laughs> I don't think and we it's... should have played these decks. Yeah. Aaron. <laughs> so it's seven? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll be 14, 14 tokens if this, if this is fine. Oh, I mean, I can't Yeah, I got nothing. Right. Approved. Please make yeah. 14 one 14 uh, human soldiers. That surely won't become 50 50 as next turn or anything. Uh, so this is what it costs. Sorry, I want to say that. One, two, three, four, five, six. This costs four, so I have two white left. That is important. Uh, but you know, you can maybe block them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> true, true. Six. I said I had 14, right? Yeah. yeah. 12. 14. <laughs> Two white floating. Two white floating. Um, use one white to cast this resolute reinforcements, which I would have cast, should have cast beforehand, but I'm yeah, not. Silly goose. Um, so it's going to come to play and make. Two more tokens. Uh, there are just soldiers, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to add them to this. Yeah. yeah unless you get. Play. No, that shouldn't matter. Yeah. Um, and then I guess the last spell I'll cast is a Skull Clamp. Don't mind me. Equip it to 
tell me just in case something goes awry. Um, rearrange my board slightly here so it's less of a mess. And then um, I think that's going to be it. Let's give me a moment. So you yeah, want... fans, if you want to uh, grab these uh, <laughs> deck lists for any yeah. reason whatsoever, they're down in the doobly doo. Uh, this video was sponsored by Game Genic Games. <laughs> and We're just going to see you guys next week. Uh, you want to just it, done? It, you want to just pretend you did it right and make two more? No. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't need. He doesn't need your hand. You know, I'm not. I'm not to worry about it right now. How about I'm, that? I'm wow. Just, oh, okay. You worry about your uh, three fifteen over there. Yeah. You well, know. I'm just trying to draw cards. That's fair. That's all right. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. <laughs> all right, I'm on top. Holy smokes! That's a lot. Wow. A couple guys. A couple, a couple guys. He says. Just a couple. Island. Oh, I'm fucking library. You guys ready for this? I am. Talisman of creativity. That's crazy. Sure. So sure. creative. Resolves. Yeah, pass turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <sighs> Untap. Upkeep. <laughs> Draw. I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, five, four. Traverse the outlands. So I'm going to search my library for up to X basic lands, which is eight, uh, because that's the greatest power among creatures I control. And I'm going to put them onto the battlefield tapped and shuffle my library. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. That card's sweet. <laughs> I'm going to get one, two, three, four, forest, one, two, three, four mountains for a total of eight. All basics, all tapped, all pass. What, not even attacking with your eight four? I mean, He's wide open. who am I going to hit? <laughs> I can take another eight ball. Yeah. It, blocking that thing, all indestructible, has to, it can... If, I guess if, if you had a, something has to block this, you would just kill my whole board. Yeah. yeah. That's Which true. is really funny. That's just like when you're bored. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Draw for turn. All right, so who's letting me draw 15, huh? I mean, I will abstain from drawing, drawing 15. <laughs> yeah, I'm blocking. I imagine. Um, you know what? That's fine. You can hit me for three and draw 15. All right. Here, here we go. The bargaining power. Four mana. Targeting himself. Yep. That Combat. Is, yep. Alex. Yep. Please take three. I'll I have no effects as much as I want. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll take three. That's commander damage. <laughs> and it, it, it and is, make sure you get his face on that one in there. <laughs> it is three pride of all play damage. I have a trigger yeah. to draw 15 cards. Save us from Aaron, please. Uh, I don't know what does. Maybe. But let's find out. Five, <laughs> 10, 15. We need blue source, presumably, and then an out. Uh, I did find a blue source. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yep, sure did. Sure did find a blue source. I guess my option is... Nah, we're just dead, right? I guess I can block his things. You can block one of them. Uh, well, hey, I might play some more things. <laughs> all right, all right. right. Hundred-handed one. <laughs> Yo! Uh, I'm gonna... Is there a breeding pool on this list? Yeah. Perfect. I've got a nature's lore. Something tells me you're taking duly damage here. Uh, soon, yeah, probably. I'm getting a breeding pool off of my nature's lore and going down to 38. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, double the blue sources that I did last turn, which would have come in handy mm -hmm. uh, a couple turns prior to this. I've got a Sylvan Caryatid. Well, it's a more oh. defender. Uh, defender and uh, more mania. And hexproof. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure is. <laughs> uh, and then I've got an uh, aqueous, aqueous form that I would like to attempt to enchant my pride of Hulkblade with. Not the tree? Uh, no. Or a 40 someone? <laughs> well, now you can only 38 someone. Yeah. Which is embarrassing. Uh, if you it's so embarrassing. Yeah. And yeah, when it attacks, or can't be blocked and when it attacks, scry one if we get there. Go ahead, Aaron. Uh, on your end step. <sighs> Please. This is, this is important. Save us, save us. Uh, I'm going to tap five and cast oh, that's bad. Magma Opus. <laughs> I love Magma Opus. Uh, so I'm gonna deal three damage or one damage to mirror entity. So oh, yeah, damage. right. It chops it up. Too. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm gonna deal. Bro. This one has hexproof. <laughs> you guys aren't dying. What are we talking about? Okay, so for the first part of Magnum Opus, the four damage, I'm gonna deal one to mirror entity, mm -hmm. two to uh, Reverend of Heliod or Hoplite, Hoplite, and one to this Resolute Reinforcementers. Yep, yeah. they will die um, a magma death. Then. I will uh, give my friend Aaron a hand, and I will tap these two creatures. Oh. oh. Let's tap two target permanents. But, uh, I'll make a 4-4 four, four blue and red elemental. It does all of this? Does oh, I guess it costs three less because of Melek. Never mind. I was <laughs> yeah. like, didn't you uh, pay like five for this? Then I will drop two cards. 
It costs what? eight mana. It costs eight mana. Ah, never okay. Five mana. It's called Magma Opus. I suppose. Malak is now a 12 12. <laughs> That's sweet. Okay. Now that I've uh, lost a lot of uh, what I was doing, minor. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's I think cool. I, I got nothing. Forever. Nothing more. I will go to my turn. This is why I don't draw a card. He, he, he is. is, but you know what? He wasn't blocking anyway. Neither are you. <laughs> oh, that's true. Oh, your guy's like oh. a 12 12 He's now? 12, 12, yeah. Okay. I didn't kill your commander. I remember that. Uh, I got some bad news. I think you are still dead. What? That's okay. <laughs> uh, I would like to skull clamp a token. Okay. You may. Draw two cards. Uno. Dose. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So Nykthos is still positive. Nice. Right? One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cast Moonshaker Cavalry. Oh, Crater Hoof Behemoth, you say? <laughs> they it are... Is a little bit of a Crater Hoof Behemoth. They get flying and plus... One, two, three... 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's are twenty. We, are we all? Because it includes dead? himself. Unless you yeah. counter it, yes. Yeah, unless you unless you stop this, yes, you will you will all die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's twenty. Oh, I would like to soul fire, Aaron, for fourteen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, uh, eighteen. Is that max? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, carry on. <laughs> All right, sure, we sure. died. <laughs> Attack you for a lot. Yeah, yep. uh, we'll take a lot. Take a lot. Yeah. Hey, that's a good game. <laughs> uh, uh, obviously, you know, still had all these after I drew the fifteen cards. Yeah, I did draw the aqueous form as well as the access tunnel, uh, but I had March of Swirling Mist oh. that like re really almost could have saved me with all of these blue cards in my hand. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I, I uh, if I had a, an additional blue to pay for it, I get I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten creatures out of the way, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't kill you. I don't kill. Well, I can't. Uh, kill, <laughs> yeah, kill but wow. Um, so the reason I kept that super greedy hand, you might have noticed that I stumbled pretty hard, yeah. was I opened with unnatural growth in hand, which is the <laughs> at the beginning of each combat double the power and toughness of each creature you control. And, and then the trample. And then my first draw was Dolman Gate. So I'm just like, oh, we're cooking with gas gamers. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, I don't think I was terribly far off of being relevant. Uh, just I think I, everyone was like yeah. really close yeah. to doing their thing. I just had a uh, everyone like everyone was pretty un uninterrupted for the most part. Mm -hmm. But I had a really good curve of like two commander into ramp spell, like double ramp, double ramp. Yeah. yeah. And then I can kind of let loose. Uh, yeah. And then I happened to have like not only the. Uh, the hoplite to make me a large board because I even I had a, I had this acromas more acromas will too oh, to try to like lethal somebody yeah um and then I just happened to have the see the moonshaker on top of my library because of uh he's some of the players yeah Dang. so yeah That's I was actually good. I was actually a little worried uh with this deck that it wouldn't have enough ways to win because there's a lot of ways to like uh, the rest of the deck is a lot of like soul sister type I count stuff fifteen <laughs> <laughs> well a lot of the rest of the creatures like soul sister type effects like right. yeah yeah uh, fiend hunter you know yeah. like yeah. that type of stuff utility yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so you really hit you really hit a good package to i did i hit out. like you know almost yeah, perfect yeah. amounts of like ways to generate a board that being said like elliot was a card or two away or a blue mana away even from starting oh. to like deal yeah. draw an absurd amount of cards yeah um Jaren looked like he was slow to get going, uh, but like, he like looked like he had a good I just kept drawing new hands instead of like instants and sorceries. That part's yeah. super it's, awkward. Yeah. Well, I, I feel like you awkward. weren't terribly poorly off. No, no, no. You no, had no. a lot of utility. Yeah. That you Again, could, I think like yeah. without this, I would have got another turn, mm -hmm. and then like, oh, I, had, sure. I had a rune chanter spike in my hand. I oh had, wow! Woo! Oh, if yeah, you get to equip that, he just like dies. Right? Well, that, that makes 14. like Melik Melik powers triple to your yeah, right? So he's looking at twenty one, yeah, something like that. Yeah, and then even you like, uh, even though my board was huge at that um, when yeah. I passed Marinity, if you get any way to give your card provoke or like a lure, yeah. it has to be blocked. Yeah. My whole board dies yeah. for free, exactly, yeah. which is crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it, there was a lot of uh, different uh, power in this. I think you did a really good job designing these decks, yes. like, mm. specifically to play against each other. Um, I think my favorite part was actually in this deck seeing the different ways you were paying off the Simic portions yeah. of it. Hmm. That looks cool. And then you can build this deck a few, you can build a lot of these decks a, a, a few different ways. Yeah. But um, yeah, you can build it like, you can make it all walls. You can make it so you're, you don't really care too much. You can just play generic Simic creatures that if they happen to get through and you activate 
your commander, you just happen to draw cards. So yeah. there's a few ways to do it. And uh, yeah, I think these two especially are, were very, very interesting. Uh, like, how could I not build the mole and the yeah. crocodile elk turtle? Yeah, yeah exactly. You know? What about the weird detective? He is a weird detective. <laughs> I like the card a lot, too. Like, I do. I, if I, the I, game goes yeah. long enough, you just start punching people for their life totals. I would, I would, play, this. <laughs> I would play this again. As, as yeah. Aaron was mentioning, like, yeah, there's a traumatize in this deck, and it's not for your opponents. No, it's for yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, if you want to get something for yourself, you can head down to your local game store and pick up some game genic products. But before you do that, head on down below this video and hit that subscribe button. That subscribe button lets you know when we publish things on YouTube. And so if you don't want to miss another game like this one, go down there and hit it. Strangely enough, only one out of every three of you that are watching this are actually subscribed. So please fix that. It'd make me feel better. It'd make Elliot feel better. We want to get to 50K. Please. Yeah. That's like halfway to a plaque. That's closer to a plaque than I've ever been in my life. Except the ones on my teeth. I don't. I think that's Dental. spelled different. That's no, spelled the same. Oh, it is. That's yeah. that. That's sad. But anyway, you know what's not sad? My patrons. They're the patrons that are over here. They're right next to my head. Those are the folks that keep the lights on around here. We just want to say thank you so much to all of them. If you would like to join their illustrious ranks, all you have to do is while you're down there subscribing, click on the option that says Patreon. That'll take you to patreoncom slash feeders for where as little as one dollar, you too can help support this show directly without any interference. And I just want to say thank you so much to all the folks that do. In the meantime, though, thank you to you for watching this. Have a great day.